Hey guys, welcome to another episode of A Cast of Salt. It's uh, numero five o. Numero number five? <laughs> so, I think uh, it's five. It feels like a year. Jesus. So yeah, yeah it feels long, hey? Um, yeah, long so uh, I am your guest Present master. <laughs> Because I'm the master. Ben is too lazy right now. Ben is, ben is feeling like a wanna... lovely sack of shit. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got uh, so myself, Adam, and with me we have Ben, Orla, and Ben, and Ryan. Uh, cool. So, and just a quick reminder, to guys, as well, if you have any questions, like I don't know how Ben's hair looks so good today. My hair always looks amazing. <laughs> you can always tweet us, tweet always. at us using the hashtag Cast of Salt. I wake we will, up looking like this. We will try to watch. I believe that. <laughs> like, uh, like Ben's hair, we will always try our hardest to look amazing. Be luscious and to spring into life. Just constantly. And it answer actually all your a questions. Weird. It gets a bit flat on the sides. But yeah, right now, since uh, I've cut me, the sides, I, I get the same problem. You've seen yeah. that with my hair, where some days I show up and it's like vibrantly curly on three quarters and there's the bit <laughs> and where one I side that you slept like, on is just completely flat and it's, yeah when I, I had my fro or more so of a fro that was that was yeah, amazing no the fro You'd combing is flat whoop <laughs> <laughs> it's so like I love it because of how bad it is if that nah. makes sense but the thing is if even if you do that Ben you just look like you're, you're styling it out of like a 70s black exploitation <laughs> film so you still look great <laughs> like well <laughs> There's, Still a there's thing. nothing I could do that will make me look bad. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the baddest mother? Shut your mouth. And, and humble too. <laughs> Don't you wish you were oh. born with those locks, son? So, how's everyone's last two weeks been? Who, who what have we first? been up to? I'll go first. Ryan. Oh, jeez. Jesus, I wow. Know. Oh, my God. I know. Oh, what? <laughs> Sweet Lord. Only Ryan. because I want to get it, out of, get it out of the way so we're not talking about anime for the next like, 15 oh, minutes oh, and I can sleep. Don't you no, worry. I can don't sleep you while worry. you're talking about no, no. anime. So you do realize by going first, you're postponing the anime discussion. So that I can with. sleep during it, basically. It, like, th- th- we're going to have an hour of anime talk. So, like, awesome. You can... So I'll, I'll, t- I'll let you know what I've been doing for two weeks and I'll leave. And then you can, <laughs> you can go get us a round of tea. Thank you. I'll like green tea. What, what are you having, Ben? Hop to it. Peppermint tea, please, Worthington. <laughs> a lovely cup of oolong would be lovely. <laughs> oolong. 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 Isn't like... that the dragon from DBZ? It's the pig. No, that's the pig. That's ah, the pig. Right. <laughs> Oh, so yeah, <laughs> so um, I've just uh, my my update's really short. I've basically been working, sleeping, riding on trains, um, just you know, as as a pastime, you know, just hopping on trains, <laughs> just hop yeah. on random trains. He, you uh, take the midnight you, train you, going like anywhere? In train spotting? Are you like all hopped Wait, up so, on heroin and shit now? Yeah. So how much heroin have you taken? All in the past them. 24 hours. Zero point all zero. the heroines. Every all heroin <laughs> I've taken I've, up the butt. I've smoked all the heroin now. Actually, I did see a guy smoking crack on my way over here. <laughs> I was walking It's what past happens when you live in the cross. The, the King's Cross, the drug rehabilitation center. Saw a guy light up. And then I'm like, what's that? Oh, that's a crack that's pipe. That's a crack pipe. <laughs> that dude's having crack on the street. I am. Um, Outside of the drug rehabilitation center. I uh, need to find a new neighborhood. <laughs> I th- it's like, well, oh, I'm out of this country. <laughs> <laughs> well, sweet prince, have a lovely ride. Yeah. But uh, in more gaming side of news, I've been playing Age of Mythology again. Which uh, is cool. the only thing you ever play. At the moment, yes. Um, but it's a game that I haven't played in about 15-ish years, so it's been pretty fun playing it again. It's kind of like watching an old movie again. Um, I, I was actually going to... Because you do that a bit in the sense that you'll you, play a game again after a while. You'll watch a whole series again after a while. Yeah. You'll watch a few movies again like after a, a while. Like Adam's insatiable ability to ignore every other anime that isn't Full Metal Full Metal Alchemist. Alchemist. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, like, what did you, you know do? What? I'm going to watch Full Metal Alchemist. I already watched Full Metal Alchemist. There's a million other anime you could yes, watch, Adam. I've and said- there's the anime segue. <laughs> I'm out there. <laughs> Hey, no, look, if you've noticed, I did that while you're talking. I'm just like, and DBZ, and am I missing anything? If you like Age of Mythology, I've got this one where all the gods are cute girls in a high school 
right up your alley. Oh, yeah. Actually, I think I might come across that Yeah, one. I can't remember what it's called right it's now. Called. But I will find it and I will link it to you so you can watch your lolly stuff you know, you on can the train. You can link it all you want. I'm probably not going to watch I will install no, it on your phone. I'm going to steal your phone. And, and install it. And fill and it up with anime. anime. <laughs> you, it's just going to be anime. anime. <laughs> ben, you, you, you don't install media. <laughs> I it will just, install it anime I am going your... to change your messenger icon to start playing lolly. Every, every everything everything that you do on your phone it will, will just link open, to it will just open up the Crunchyroll app. <laughs> it's, Fuck. Your phone is now just Crunchyroll. <laughs> this podcast is proudly not sponsored by Crunchyroll. <laughs> Because well, nobody. Not I mean, we would take sponsorship if we could get it. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, no one wants to sponsor our bullshit. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but, because um, you maybe, if you liked anime, people would like us more, Ryan. Have you see, thought see, that? Do you see I what you're doing I to think, us? I you're think we've you're us holding anime. I you're think holding us back, Ryan. Is that <laughs> what you yeah. want? <laughs> you are a millstone around our neck. <laughs> Because you can't stand that shit. Oh, there is man. only so far this channel can get uh, because of you because and your hate because, of anime. Because it's not that I can't stand anime, it's just that I don't watch uh, anime. Who, that's, there's a difference. Who that's am I going to play hurts. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure with? Oh, God ben? I can't even remember what I was going to say to you, right? <laughs> does um, it matter? It you, doesn't. All right, so playing a game every 15 years and getting a new perspective. Okay, no, no. So I was going to say, I was going to give you a hard time about your love of revisiting things that you do previously yes and then how, you dare I, how dare i be nostalgic about and then games i was just like no way i play second and set to three every year every so often maybe not every year close but to every I year played man. It at least eight times i watch vendetta every year i i at least yeah twice. on um a guy fox day there, yeah. there's definitely things that you do again and again and, when, I, and, <laughs> and i watch die hard every christmas <laughs> it's nerd. just how it is <laughs> die hard is the best christmas movie ever we, we can all agree <laughs> and, I, and i we, <laughs> no I have a contentious jingle all that. the way, jingle Clearly. all the goddamn Fuck way. Fuck you, no! Like, yeah, it's a joke. I Fuck love you. that movie. Fuck you. I and you absolutely love that. Enters the ring. I absolutely the love. The Father is another great <laughs> Christmas movie, which you all should watch. <laughs> no, because it's Terry a, Pratchett it is a, is a shit dog. movie. Terrible. It is a shit movie, but I love the crap out of it. Because I it is, that is so goddamn ridiculous. It is so the freaking so, what, good. What is Jingle All The Way? That was a bomb. <laughs> this is a sick world. It's sick people. It's it's Arnold Schwarzenegger. He needs to buy a toy for oh, his son. Yeah. Yes, I and remember that one. And he goes on this one. massive freaking... That's it. Actually, I really I like that, that as, movie. As, it's, yeah. like, it's like he has to buy his kid an action man because that's all he wants for Christmas. Yeah. Oh. Coming yeah. up next YouTube video. Top five Christmas videos from a pinch of salt. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Um... My the, the Christmas movie that I think about isn't even a Christmas movie, but my family and I we watch it every year. It's Happy Gilmore. Oh fuck! I hate it's that a Christmas film. movie because, and it's a long story, but well, not really long. But the 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 point is, our grand and granddad would would only have like five half decent movies, and one of them was Happy Gilmore. So every yeah. year we would watch Happy Gilmore when we're at their house. For you Christmas. don't know how many times I've seen Fiddler on the Roof because of that bullshit. <laughs> I'm like, open up the cupboard. Fiddler on the Roof is the only good film here, and that's setting a very low bar. It's like, hmm, I could watch the uh, the 50s or 60s version of True Grit <laughs> hey, as an eight-year-old. <laughs> uh, what's the other one? Oh, what's the one about the boat in the African... No, the um, Amazon, like, oh, trust me. It was filled with 40s movies. Yeah, yeah, and I'm just like, eh, no. <laughs> that was the same with me. I went on a trip to Adelaide. <laughs> How'd oh. that go? The gun, the gun <laughs> okay, train. So we just get the, Miami Vice the on television. train to, to <laughs> Adelaide. And we watched Big Daddy. Oh, four times in a <laughs> row. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was that's not even a good Adam Sandler movie. There was literally nothing else to do. <laughs> it was just like, well, Big Daddy yeah. it is. <laughs> Sitting here with this whole train trip and this whole holiday. Eating chicken and watching Adam Sandler <laughs> raise a kid that's not his. <laughs> Great. <laughs> you know, thank you. You've oh. brought the new definition of hell from <laughs> Adelaide to be stuck in Adelaide watching Adam Sandler movies. <laughs> like, man, everything can always get worse. <laughs> Everything's always better in Adelaide. <laughs> <all right. laughs>
Oh, now man. you know why the murder rate is so fucking high. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was the suicide rate. That's why not? <laughs> both, both. Murder, suicide. People kill everyone but, else, they kill themselves. <laughs> police walk in. All right, so we've got a murder, suicide, and yep, looks like Big Daddy was playing on the television <laughs> again. <laughs> and there's a bucket of chicken wings. <laughs> Damn it, Ben. <laughs> uh. No, the chicken is what actually saved that. Yeah, the I chicken just, was the highlight. What type highlight. of chicken were you eating? It was whole roast chicken. Oh, roast it chicken was, is the bomb. It was great. Especially when you like put it with some garlic cheese. Oh, so good. I, I also love the stuffing. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes they make a really, really good stuffing. Yeah. I'd say. Depends on the shop. Yeah. Oh, man. So, uh, I ate a lot of chicken that trip. Just stay off the depression, dude. Like, <laughs> the PTSD in your face of just like, <laughs> yeah, uh, back out there in the field. The only thing they kept going was the chicken, the chicken and the cigarettes. <laughs> Many a chicken were consumed on that trip. <laughs> a small price oh. to pay for sanity. How the did we get to this point? <laughs> I have no where, idea. Where did we go for? How uh, do we, I you you were paying me out about playing Age of Mythology, <laughs> a, a 15, 20 year old game. And then oh we, Christmas movies. Christmas movies uh, is the link. Oh, my God. So, uh, you know, Home Alone. Home Alone's another great Christmas yeah, movie. Yeah, that comes on. No, I, I like it. I, I honestly can't stand that series so much. But series? No. First movie, yes. First, second's okay. First movie's good. All right. So, oh, Christmas oh, video yeah. games. Yeah. <laughs> Home Alone. There's Home Alone. There's a Die Hard video game as well. Days for Christmas? So I've never had. Well, a have we had any other ones? Christmas. There's um Jazz Jackrabbit, the Christmas levels. That shit was cash. Jazz Jackrabbit as a whole was a great like, game. Great series. Like I loved it. I mean, it's got no it substance. Simple. It was but just straightforward. It's, super it's, it's like great. Commander Keen as well. Like oh, all well, of those old platformers. No, no, no. Commander Keen is super deep. It's deep. It's definitely deep. Point, but yeah. I'm saying all those old platformers. No, love it takes so long, man. I know, but like, like it, I'm s- super cut. <laughs> just like here's us like 24 hours mashed into five minutes of commander keen gameplay anyway i missed that game I we should so we'll long. put that on the list put it on the list <laughs> like at a uh, Wellington, right Wellington, write it down. Yeah, I would say, <laughs> and where's my peppermint tea? <laughs> Anime hour is about to begin, Ryan, and I don't have anything to soothe my parched throat. <laughs> So my Fortnite, slightly more comment. entertaining than Ryan's. <laughs> I finished Journey. Ooh, ooh. Great game. Shout out to all my homeboys who I met up on the quest and I could do nothing other than make funny symbols at. Yeah. Love you. Keep it could, real. Could you um? Can, do you actually know who they are? Did yeah, I tell it you tells the you the at the end. So can you add them as friends? God no. Why would I? Was like, <laughs> why, would you, why would you want to? <laughs> and because they're probably terrible scumbags. <laughs> on the topic of being a terrible scumbag. Shout out to that one guy I let off the cliff three times. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking never saw that coming, bitch. <laughs> oh, what? You now have to walk through the blizzard again? <laughs> it's like, or maybe it was just like, everyone's just like, they could be terrible scumbags, just <laughs> like me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, that was the, <sighs> like, it's such an emotional journey. And then I realized I could troll someone about like right near the end of the game. And I'm just like, yeah. So kind of like Halo. Yeah. Yeah, we're not. We've been brought this up like every podcast, I right? Know. Um, on top of that, like Ryan says, it still hurts. And like, just <laughs> wake me up inside. You, you, got, like, me, you uh, got me deep, man. <laughs> oh man, it's it's like a proverbial gravity hammer to the balls. Oh. It feels so good. Um, anime, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. You need to start watching that. You need to start watching yeah. that, Ryan. I know you won't watch it, no matter what I say. Yep. So. All I can say is... I've got too much been... anime to do. Not enough anime. I've got... I have a lot of anime. Full, full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> I've got so much time. Full Metal Alchemist to <laughs> watch. I just haven't caught up with Fate Stay whatever. Any Fate, Fate Stay, Fate stay anything. anything. Like, and that's great as well. And on top of that, Mob Psycho 100. There's 10 episodes. That's enough for an evening binge. Oh. It's great. Love it. I Brilliant. Watch it. I, will... watch it. I actually really like when they do that, where it's just like... Um, I think we, well, the last one that I watched was like Blue Exorcist or something like that and it was 20 something episodes and that was it that was the series it's yeah. just like here you go here's some that's cool all content 
It gets crazy, it gets interesting, and we're done. My favorite example and a story. is Cowboy Bebop. It's just like, bam, about 24 episodes. I'm bam, like, watch, out of here. done, story's finished. And then you get shit like Bleach. Oh, man. That make you want oh. to stab yourself in the face. Guys, I well, know then, this and is... Then, and then you get stuff like Firefly, where they just cut it after 24 episodes, and you go, God fucking damn it, why aren't they making more? Firefly yeah. was amazing. Trust me, Bleach's ending is so disappointing. <laughs> That nah. I think it, it was like three weeks ago nah. that it en- that it ended, and it's still like I haven't followed Bleach for years, and it still like cuts me deep how it ended. I'm like that hurts me, and I don't even associate myself with that. I feel anymore. like I'm gonna be the same with The Walking Dead. Like, yeah, it's gonna end. It's gonna going? end some stupid it way. It hasn't and I'll be, and still, and I'll, and I'll it be still like, hasn't I haven't watched nah. it. I haven't watched it in two seasons. But if it, it ends anytime soon, I'm, I'm, it has a stupid ending. That's I'm, I'm back, still gonna be it? invested yeah. in it. Yeah, it's just that's, like that's the problem uh, I find with a lot of series. Like, for, okay, I'm um, counterpoint. Uh, Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. That was great. And it, it ended, ended good. at the right time. And it ended really, really well. Yeah. Why don't more series do that? I've been watching because Supernatural se- and it just drags on. After season three, I was just like, what else are I you guys going to do? I was a big fan of that show. And, it, then, uh, and then it started getting Angel Demons and I was like, man, I'm Dude, sorry. Dumb. I love Castile. He's su- great. Su- Castile's my hero. Yeah, he is. Because he's Constantine. Supernatural's <laughs> one of those shows that I feel like so if good. I went on to Reddit or something, there'd be someone who's like compiled here's a the list. summary no 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 no, not a summary but here's the list of episodes you need to watch and shit that you can just so avoid. like the, the basically the abridged version because yeah. the thing is it's, it's a full syndicated tv show there's like 30 episodes a season guys yeah. combining our two mutual interests did you know there's a supernatural anime <laughs> i actually i actually did <laughs> oh, i actually did, did know that i've watched it with my that. sister it's pretty bad yeah. <laughs> like i was like this can't be too but bad and i'm it? like nope this is just like That's a mediocre thing, season it should one. be great because you can do so much more well, in an anime that you can do in a no, series they just told the same like it was just season one in cartoon form yeah and i was like i could go watch season one it's like why am i here There's why am i here <laughs> Wait, speaking but of um, it gives us the potential for a supernatural abridged Mm, is your body ready? Ooh. It could be like <laughs> Helsing a Bridge, which is one of my favorite bridge series. The bridge series is just so goddamn good. It's so beautiful. Have it's you seen like the Yu-Gi-Oh bridge? Yeah, man. So good. <laughs> I've I've seen. I, I saw the first oh, few a few so. of them. Yeah. And so looking forward to the Cell games. Ooh, Why? Like, yeah, it's gonna be so no one must ever know of our forbidden love. <laughs> <laughs> Stroking the poster. Oh, Yugi, I didn't see you coming in. When did you get in? <laughs> right. Wow, Joey has the red eyes. Red eyes black black dragon. dragon. Joey, <laughs> these cards are garbage. <laughs> I'll take them from you. <laughs> oh, God damn. Wow. Stop making me laugh. My head hurts. <laughs> Talk about a derailment. So, sh- yeah, what were you saying about Supernatural before we... Before we somehow... We, we, like... Segwayed. Uh, 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 Segway like three hell. different times. <laughs> all, all I was going to say was that I think once a series reaches um, a point where they've wrapped up the main story, yep. it mm. needs to start thinking like, because um, not Supernatural, but uh, Stargate SG1, mm. right? They hit mm, season Buffy. seven, they wrapped up the main storyline, which was to do with the um, ancient Egyptian gods and that sort of stuff. Yep. Um, and then they made but three they more seasons going. and they had yeah. to introduce a new bad, the, bad guy. And the just... three, those last three seasons were trash. Yeah, like, they were absolute trash, right? So they should have ended it at seven. Uh, yeah. Or you have a premise which is infinitely renewable, like the Star Trek syndrome, where you're like, what do we do? We fly into space and find shit. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Like, and that, and that, find new and places why... that we haven't discovered before. And that's the thing. They, they, they should have done that, but they did that with Atlantis. They started yeah. um, Stargate Atlantis. But Atlantis was a bit painful to watch. At least yeah. it wasn't universe- we don't talk about that. <laughs> I we still do. haven't watched Universe, to be honest. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Keep it that you way. You will see it eventually, because I know you will. I've, um, I've actually bought the DVDs, but I bought them just before I moved out of home, so I haven't had a chance to watch them yet. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. Deep dive. Cool. Yeah, Any- so my other exciting news is I found Batman Arkham City. For a glorious price ah. of $8. I enjoy that game. Nice. That's, a, f- that's, that's a great that's, fucking game. That's, right. why, that, that's why I bought Age of Mythology. That is six top level Steam. shit. So, Mark once again, I, I, I played Arkham game. Asylum with my older sister, Ruth. Mm. Because I'm like, look, bitch, I know you're never going to play this shit. You're probably never even going to listen to my podcast. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Not mad. <laughs> and I was like, I'll play it next to you so you can enjoy Batman. 
why I enjoy a Batman R- video. Fighting games, maybe not. R- Ruth and anything with like hand-eye coordination. She's <laughs> worse than I am. <laughs> but no, the creme de la creme on the Batman. So, mm. guess which platform this Batman's for? What? I can see. I got it for the Wii U. That's but terrible. it's still good on it. No, no. I, there was the only, a, you see, the only reason why I guess that is because every time Ben says that, it's for some Nintendo console. Yeah, just it's like, like, it's like, I bought Call of Duty. Guess which console? The Wii. I, <laughs> I nearly brought Call of Duty Black Ops for the Wii U for $4. I was like, see what I mean? It's the only console you can get, like, AAA titles for $4. <laughs> <laughs> And please I, buy this version. No, no, quote I, unquote triple A titles. I, I looked at it. You don't know how tempted I was with the blobs just for hilarity's oh sake. God. Just but the Arkham City for the Wii U? Completely different game to the regular Arkham yeah. City. Like it's one of the best versions that used the touchpad on the Wii U and there's all this like extra shit added and I'm like That's the awesome thing about it because a lot of the Batman games you go into detective mode, you Yeah use a lot of the different gadgets the wii u pad is would be great yeah. for that it's just and like, i was like hey look eight bucks we might do a let's look at because someone people who've played arkham city can compare and contrast to the wii u version yeah, because, yeah. like yeah, absolutely like, fucking eight bucks for another batman game what's the latest I mean, one arkham knight Ar- Ar- no Ar- crashed Ar- here <laughs> no, Ar- it was Origins, which was not well, great. Origin, well, Arkham Knight wasn't great either. That's the Arkham one Knight's that like actually I, pretty I, good. Been, I actually haven't finished. Okay, it. I bought it, so I have it on on yeah. Xbox One, Xbox one mm-hmm. and it was thumbs up. Yeah, all good. I'm um, enjoying it. The the PC port was um, trash renowned free. for trash, and yeah, it didn't didn't even fucking work. Um, I I enjoyed like because I got on console it. It worked fine, and I enjoyed it. it yeah, I it was better than Origins. It. Origins was the storyline was not nearly as good. What yeah, and the, the actors like, were I can't even the worst as well. Yeah, they had Kevin Conroy, but that was the first one where they didn't have Mark Hamill doing it. And it was yeah, just it's just like, not the same, man. Yeah, just not as I'm, insane. I'm sorry. Like, um, we but, all know our Mark Hamill yeah, love. But him. the thing that I do like about Arkham, the Arkham series. series, is the whole way that the Joker has progressed through it, and I think it's Origin that I don't like because the Joker gets pumped up on Venom, and it's the bad boss at the end is just a giant Joker. No, that's, 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 that's that's asylum. That's asylum. That's asylum. Yo, sorry, like sorry. goddamn spoilers for a ten-year-old game, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but the way that Joker has progressed through it all the way up to Arkham Knight, yeah, has been great. Like he's somehow always the main antagonist. The, the character evolution but is now perfect. he's no longer the main antagonist, but he still plays a big part in it. Yeah, that's really cool. I the, really enjoy it, how they. Do I've that. just been like, this is great because at the end of the origins, oh no, uh, night, no, no, the one before night, city, city, city. He dies. Okay, seriously, we're going to have to go back in time and put spoilers in <laughs> By the way, thanks, Bin. I just told you I brought City to buy it f- and play it for the first <laughs> goddamn time. By the way, spoilers. Joker dies. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, <laughs> Ben. <laughs> <laughs> if there is any incentive you have for the story thrown out the door. It's fucking awesome. It's it, so it, good. It still doesn't... Yeah, but it's the fact that I've... Okay, the fact that I have spoiled it for you, and I actually do genuinely apologize because I didn't even think about that. It's an okay. eight-year-old game. This is, is where that, I, this it is, is where still I great. I have, you I'm will already, love the shit out of it regardless. I'm already spoiled on it. I just wanted to give you shit. <laughs> and then Arkham Knight, he is somehow still in it. I know, he's a hallucination in it. Batman's head. Love right. it. So because, good. like, really good. the injection thingy for the cure. Anyway, not important. It's fucking awesome. Adam, how the fuck has your week been? Speaking, because- of, speaking of Batman, uh, that's what my last... Uh, week or so has been. Welcome um, to the Batman podcast, everyone. Yeah, I reckon. <laughs> we must um, now all talk like this. <laughs> so yeah, we um. What Batman films so have you been watching? Well, uh, we got, I got like a stack of uh, Blu-rays from my brother, and I caught up on all of the latest Batman things that have come out that I haven't seen. So I watched Batman vs Superman. All right, then, no, no, let's stop for a second. How was Batman vs Superman? Did uh, you enjoy it? Did you get the R-rated director's cut? I got the, the director's cut, and it was the three-hour version. Good Lord. Is that uh, three hours of your life you're never getting back? <laughs> okay, so I actually... Everyone's like, oh, it's really long in the middle. I actually didn't mind that, but it ended like... Yeah, so I looked like at my watch and I was just like, it's two... It was uh, two hours and ten minutes, I think. Mm. And they just finished the fight, the Batman vs Superman fight. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you could have ended the movie like right here and it would have been done. And I would have been like, that's okay. That was a good... Yeah. I mean, it wasn't... I mean... 
it wasn't like Luther the best. was still a piece of shit. Well, he's actually a lot better in the director's cut. Okay. They give him, they give you more reason in his character, and you're like, oh, I kind of go, I, I get what they're going for. Mm-hmm. So I saw that and was like, I didn't hate Luther as much as I'm sure I would have if I saw the theatrical version where they cut half his shit, and you like, yeah. what's why, his motivation like, for why are any you doing of this? anything? Like it, it, that's a lot of the half an hour they add in is scenes of him kind of being like. This is what I'm planning to do and why I'm doing it. And you're yeah. like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So makes I- makes fucking sense now. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but like, honest to god, man, like everything it, it, that movie just smacks of like this is old news, but that movie just smacks of like the studio Rushed. being like, we need all this fucking Justice League shit thrown in here, like because we need to market it. We need like we need a show like little. We need Wonder Woman to go on a laptop and look at files of five second clips of everyone in the justice league doing their powers and I'm like fucking why? why like it just it was just like we need to market this why movie. couldn't it just be a batman versus superman movie it, well, yeah, and, and then have an end scene so afterwards that was like so what are you so saying brutal. is it should have been the dark knight rises the animated one yes where the batman versus superman scene like batman versus yeah. superman was based on that and that animated film and that comic that animated film is fucking awesome it, no no <laughs> It's fucking terribly written. Like, Frank Miller, I'm sorry. I know you write iconic <laughs> shit, but you are not a good writer. I enjoyed that, though. That it, was fun. It has great points. It's like really it's terrible writing, but entertaining. It is the popcorn flick of Batman. Yeah, it's fucking great. And arguably, it's just the scenario he concocted to get Batman to verse Superman. And he admits it. It's fine. Yeah, it's like, He's just like, this is how it is because I want to see an old Batman in a mecha suit beat up an old Superman. Unlike, unlike the latest Captain America where they were just like, all right, these two have, have hated each other and had differences throughout these last movies. This like, is why. It's kind of common. Yeah, see, up to that point. in Civil War, it was building up to that. Exactly. Like, you, you saw it yeah. all through the things. It's fine. Whereas BBS, like... It's really contorted. And, like, why does Batman hate Superman? Because he destroyed part of Metropolis. And like, when when they did the whole Martha bit at the end, I oh. audibly groaned. I was like, yeah. "Are you fucking serious?" Because people told me, people told me this. Wait for it, because this bit is shit, and you're gonna hate it. And I was just sitting there, I was thinking, I was expecting this to be bad, and then I was like, "This is beyond what I thought." I went. How bad it. I thought it was gonna be. This is fucking awful. I actually saw it in America with some of my um, uh, friends in New York, and. The entire audience groaned. The Beautiful. entire... It was just like... Ugh, See, like collective... Why did you groan? say Martha? It's like, <laughs> oh my god, fucking kill Collective me. groan that made the whole theatre rumble. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so my next yeah. task <clears throat> and science project is I'm going to work out how to harvest disappointment. Um, <laughs> just, <laughs> just go to all movie. DC well, movies. Go Monsters, Inc. on this. <laughs> and so in that case, I'll see you all in Hollywood <laughs> in five years. <laughs> so yeah. So what's really disappointing, and this leads me on to the next Batman movie I was watching afterwards, which was The Killing Joke. Which, it's, oh my Both God. of them left me feeling disappointed for the same reason, is I could see what they were trying to do in both cases, and I was just like, and it hurt me because it's not, it's not bad. It's not just like, this was an unsalvageable wreck. But I was like, if Batman vs Superman got more edited, like... And again, unpopular not more, opinion. Not more editing, better shoots. Yeah, and just and just cut shit out, like just and and just things like unpo- kind of unpopular opinion because I did like Wonder Woman in the movie. She was actually pretty cool. Gal Gadot is but great. Should have cut her out of the movie. Yeah. Should have cut everything that wasn't Batman versing Superman out mm. of that movie because like. The trailer for Wonder Woman's come out and it looks fucking awesome. I'm like, this looks cool. Like, well, I'm looking at seeing that, but like. I didn't need to see her in Batman vs Superman to want it, to see that trailer and be like, I want to see that. Yeah. See, the they biggest problem I have the with the Wonder Woman one is everyone's just like, oh, look, DC's not like trying to rehash the original Captain America. And I'm like, no! Both of these heroes have the same goddamn initial starting point. Yeah, they do. They're not rehashing each other. Anyway, no, no. sorry. Just but, like, I don't get know. that and, out of my system. And the same with, uh, I was told, like, Killing Joke. Killing Joke. They, they had, like, 45 minutes worth of actual Killing Joke material because the, the actual comic is, like, tiny. tiny. Yeah, you could oh, read yeah. it in half an hour. It would have been I a great, like, an short film. Yeah. And then they go, oh, but we, this needs to be a feature length, so we're going to have to pad it with 
45 minutes of original content, which, spoiler alert, sucks ass. It's and you're just so like, bad. And you're just okay. like, well, it's you so just ruined the bad. whole... Like, That's... literally, I would tell anyone, skip to halfway and start watching because we... they do shot-for-shot shot recreations. We'll give you book, the exact great. mark you can watch it, Ben. And, and just, just like, start, like, start here. here. And and literally, that's, that's... no, no, zero, there is zero reason to watch the first so half. So it was basically filler. Yeah. It is. It's it has like, no impact it, on the, uh, the second half of the story. Like with, with it is just like anime. Like, wouldn't you filler love it if the they worst. did, like, a half and half split? Let's say they wanted to release a feature-length Batman animation, so they did half of it as the killing joke, and half of it as Arkham, a serious house on a serious earth. Mm. That shit would be cash. Well, like, I get... There was say so I'm not read that yet. I've I've given it to you. You've given it. You should I, read I it. I haven't read it. It's fucked up. <laughs> it's it so looks, fucked up. It looks so messed up. Everything you read is fucked up. It looks so messed up. True. So <laughs> I was like, uh, <laughs> and <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure I've read something that's not fucked up. Hang on, give me a second. <coughs> Nothing's coming to mind. Uh, favorite hero is Constantine. That it, that gives you a good glimmer into what the, hey, your I, comic book. I just got references. volume fourteen. And uh, there's a scene in that, if I remember correctly, where, uh, you know, Constantine gets to an American jail and, you know, there's the classic dropping the soap and, oh. uh, like, it, it cuts and you just see Constantine walk out of the bathroom, like, holding a cigarette packet and be like, oops, we're all out of fags. I'm pretty sure it's, I, I know I've read that. I can't remember if it's in this volume because I haven't f started it yet, but I'm pretty sure it's this volume. Oh, God. And I'm looking forward to that scene again. I will send you a picture. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, Ben, you are wow. the worst person. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Terrible human being. I try. They, yeah, they, um, but I was saying there's one mm. moment in, so to show you how ridiculous the first half is. Mm. So there's the whole people being happy. I'm like, uh, Batgirl having sex with Batman on top of a roof. Blah, blah, no, wait, wait, wait. For no fucking reason. Whilst they're both wearing latex outfits, yeah. can we just run through the um, physics of this scenario? But, yeah. That ain't fun for either one. There'll be but, a lot of squeaking but, going on. Yeah, like, <laughs> can you just imagine <laughs> being a passerby <laughs> and be like, <laughs> oh, oh, you're, just, you're walking along, like, on the street on the, of the building there on top of, you just hear, like, distant squeaking. <laughs> <laughs> Are those bats? Are there? <laughs> <laughs> there must be bats in the bell frame. <laughs> but uh, what, what the ridiculous thing is, is so this scene happens and then the whole thing with, uh, you know, if you know anything about the killing joke, obviously Barbara Gordon getting paralyzed. It's not a spoiler. So you get take so basically oh, yeah. um there's so a good. scene there's a scene where like Batman is now at Barbara's bedside and she's like paralyzed and then she she like wakes up out of like being put under and is like crying and is like she to be like, He's taken my dad, you need to go save him. Mm. But then in so in the comic, this is such a small thing, but it's so obvious. to me, I was just like so I I only just read the comic before. In the comic, she calls like he tell Batman tells all the doctors and shit to leave and mm. have so you can have a word with her. And then she wakes up and then she calls him Bruce and mm. they address as Bruce Wayne and Barbara Gordon. Yep, yep. Not like Batman. and that's that kind of like it's very under like, it's not played up at all, but it's that kind of moment where it you can tell how personal it is at that mm. point. It's not like formal the, at any point. Yep. They had this whole sexual tension thing going on at the first half of the movie to get that kind of make it more personal Intimacy. for Batman when she yeah. gets killed. And then when she wakes up, she, she only calls, him, calls Batman. him Batman. And I'm like, the whole fucking point of what the first half of the movie is. And like, just thrown she, away. I, they just See, didn't get it. I was the like, problem I have with it is it's like they've put an intro peak. God, we really are far behind on this. I wanted to have this rant like four weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not important. Um, the trouble I have is you would put that intro part in so that people who don't know Barbara Gordon's story can, like, can feel for her. I'm sorry, but people who don't know Barbara Gordon's story aren't going to watch a DC animated movie, much less a DC animated The Killing Joke, one of the yeah. beloved comics of the world. Yeah. It's, they just missed the mark. It's just a huge circle jerk. No, it sucked. Jerky oh, shittiness. <laughs> like... It's the Batman Forever or Batman and Robin of problems where you're like, yeah, nah, but, man, but wow. To, but to, on the flip to, side. to close the loop on this, I've got um, 
I've got Son of Batman and Batman versus Robin. Batman versus Robin to and watch back at home. And Justice League and versus Justice Teen League Titans. Versus, te- versus Teen Titans. <laughs> Which are all great animated movies, so I've been told. So and, that's going to be the good one. And Adam West Batman's coming out soon. That's going to be good. Yeah. He's looking to it. The Return of the Caped Crusader. <laughs> are you ready for all the terrible puns? Are you ready for the Bat 2C? Ah, <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. It's going to be great. Oh, that so is going to be terrible. Oh, be, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. That's I have, the point. <laughs> I, found, I found more really dumb animated stuff in JB Hi Fi the other day. Did you know there's a Scooby Doo crossover with Kiss? Yeah, I saw. I saw that actually. Wow. I was like, oh man. Was there also Undertaker as well? Yeah, Yeah. no, I sent you. I was like, there's a WWE. There's one where the main feature is John Cena. (laughs) (laughs) It's so good. All right, uh, Ben, the fuck you do with yourself? Um, what what have I been doing? I watched anime. So much anime. There you go. End of story. <laughs> <laughs> What's on no. the agenda for today? Fuck off and I die. Actually, what anime did you watch? I actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, very, very briefly. I have been watching Tokyo Ghoul, and I'm still watching that. I need to finish that. But I'm reading My Hero Academia. But my highlight, not anime, I watched the end of Orange Is the New Black, and that shit was intense. Did you cry a little bit? I almost... I felt like I was going to cry. Real men cry in the rain. I, <laughs> 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 That's it. That's Way it. Way to go, No bitch. movie. Way to go. No movie or series has ever... Like, I, I don't recall ever crying watching anything. Not even at Fry's Dog? I That... All, again, almost. Yeah, I definitely... That as that well. Not even as at the I, end I of Taken when he finally gets tears. his daughter back. <laughs> I cried when still gro- I tried so hard to keep a straight face. <laughs> you said at the end of Taken, didn't Taken make me cry? <laughs> I was bawling my eyes out of that one, man. I uh, could not. I was it. crying because Floodgates. that movie was uh, that movie was ending, and I wanted it to never stop. <laughs> it's so beautiful. No, but the thing is, like, I don't know if I've told you guys before, um, where I've when i started watching orange is the new black it was i was like eh i'm not too crazy about this got to the end of season one i almost stopped watching it all together and then it got really intense right at the end i was just like okay if it's it's gonna be picked up yeah i'll keep watching and then it slowly progressively got better for me and got to season four where i've gotten to the point where i'm like wow yeah like it is really really interesting stories and the cool thing about it is they showed the backstories of the characters that are in the prison as well as some of the guards and everyone basically it's like it's it's a, it's a community of life it's, a, it's, of a society. Society. Yeah. it's just like here's this person here is how they are now and here is how they got to where they are now here's this other person and it's, it's kind of like lost it shows their it backstories so, oh jesus don't get so, me started on so that well show. done yeah like it is really really Actually, well done. yeah i was the same as you um with the first season i think because they focused too much on piper when they were introducing her and yep. like doing the whole rich person gets arrested all that sort of shit and lesbian sex and lesbian sex lots of lesbian sex well, but guys I want to talk about man. emotional endings because Lost was like oh god damn I never watched Lost I watched Lost until like but season 3 and oh, then gave up two seasons gave up yeah the ending is just like oh, oh. Are they all thank god it's over but oh I'm, I'm worried though I'm, wor- like, I, yeah, I'm worried yeah they're in an alternate timeline care. and then <laughs> they all like bunch them doesn't one on of them time travel it's yeah, a it's lot fucked. of them time travel. Yeah, it's weird. It's like, don't, don't try and explain Lost. <laughs> <laughs> it's, Dami- it's Damien Lindoff. The story fucking, got lost. And that's the fucking thing. stellar but writing. Basically, at the God. end of the film, <laughs> like it, we're in a separate parallel timeline and everyone has moved on and the fat guy is basically God, if I remember correctly. And what, like, really? what? Yes. He's, he's God. Long story. All right. God. Um, how, yeah, many seasons, literally. how many seasons? <laughs> I I think it's like, like eight, seven, nine. Oh god. I'm okay. I'm semi curious to go and watch it now. But if it's that long, I don't. Yeah, think it's I not want worth to. the commitment. And then so everyone's moved on, and he goes and looks at bald evil guy whose name I've forgotten. Uh, I've, I'm uh, stuck with names. Uh, anyway, and he's like, hey, bro, like you know, we've all moved on. You want to come with? And he's like, nah, man, I ain't ready for that shit. And it ends. So basically, they're all in purgatory. Yeah, and then he chooses to stay. I think his name's Jack. Jack? No, uh, Locke. Locke, thank you. Yeah, Wait. it's pretty good. 
So Locke stays behind. <sighs> if I remember correct, it's been a while. Mm. It was, and it was very emotionally intense. Like that was the guy that was um. There was a lot wheelchair of, bound, right? He, well, but then he got his legs back. Yeah, yeah, that's my. That's my. And point. then he yeah. died, and then he was possessed by the dark side of. Oh my fight. god! Look, so much of Jesus, show. like that. That was not a good uh -huh. series, but it had an intense ending, man. You built like after nine uh, series of trash, you get emotionally attached to your trash. <laughs> okay. You, it's like how you, you get, love your trash. You get emotionally attached to your trash waifu. Yeah. So it's um so <laughs> never forget as my... as where Ryan kind of mentioned about like twenty minutes ago. Uh, we need to get into our topics today. <laughs> no goddamn. <laughs> so um speak, and, and also, time to wrap and up. also <laughs> speaking of trash, the PS4 just uh, had an update. Oh go ben. eat a <laughs> go eat a dick. You know it shits all over your ex. No, so there's two new ps4s there's a ps4 slim which is basically a generic cosmetic upgrade and a few minor improvements to a standard ps4 there's also a ps4 pro which allows you to output 4k pro but... tip <laughs> it has no ultra uh blu-ray player so you can't actually play 4k, 4K media Ge on it. guess what has a 4k media player <laughs> the xbox one s <laughs> the proprietary sony format i fucking love it <laughs> <laughs> It's just like, wow, guys, mm. did you did you think about this? Did you like, were you all in the boardroom? They and all... There was bong smoke floating around, and be like, hey, what's hey, Blu-ray player? We don't need that. What's a Blu-ray player? player? <laughs> like, why? <laughs> <laughs> now <laughs> god damn but oh. as far as we know that is the closest thing to the truth that we have pass me the cheetos <laughs> <laughs> oh man in other ps4 news uh all the the bethesda games fallout 4 and skyrim won't be supporting mods on ps4 boom is because it? once again sony what are you doing is you it? had the best console I will admit that they hand do. like they hand do. over <laughs> fist, best console shits all over the achievement system on the Xbox One. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> That's bait. Um, is it just the Bethesda games? Just well, or... any or any game with mods basically. Because what but, they've what they've said is that they want the mods to be vetted, and Bethesda's basically like we don't have the manpower, like, the time. The no energy. one has the oh, manpower to vet mods. Hmm. Like that's the point of a mod because it's like you do, do what you want because you a pirate do. is free. Even the um the Xbox because so, so so the Xbox One now supports mods for Fallout and I'm guessing Skyrim if it's out and yep. Minecraft and, and Minecraft. Minecraft and a few other things and, yeah whatever like, else anyway, the, the, the point is um, Bethesda made a huge deal about it when Fallout Four came out there were going to be mods on on the um, console, console so mods yep and everyone was like hyped to shit and the Xbox One um, came Go out and they're like we're still in discussions with Sony and it yeah it just and came then out. it just fell through and see. Jumping back to the PS4 being better, it's only better if you have something else to play games on as well. Mm. As a primary console, the Xbox, mm. Xbox One S. Yeah. Hands down, I will like I will openly admit, if you're like me and I'm like, but I have these wall of other consoles and a laptop when my laptop wasn't dying. <laughs> <laughs> Ripping pepperoni. Uh, anyway, one out for one laptop. Like basically, if I, if you have anything else to play games on. PlayStation wins. And this is another case of that, where if your only game device is the Xbox One, yeah, yeah, do it. You can mod your Fallout. Shit, yeah. Having said that, though, the mods that they support um, don't support the, um, the script extender, which... Um, which makes them super hard to run, and they're limited to 2 gig. Yeah, well, they're, they're limited to certain things that they can do, basically. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Like, yeah. It's that, at least there. Yeah. It's but the thing. trouble is, this isn't a deciding factor anymore because how old is Fallout 4? About Six months? Year. No. A year? Or more than a year. It was November last year. Mm. It was, it was just, it was just after year. It was just after PAX because they announced it at PAX. Oh, well, like, announced. It was been announced for a while. But they uh, revealed it and did, like, a whole reveal trailer at PAX that I went to. It was amazing. Um, yeah, I can't tell. It's not like you're wearing the shirt or anything. Well, this was 2014. Anyway. The they point all is, look the same to me. Yeah. The point is, um, yeah, they announced it just, and it came out just after PAX. Yeah. So, big whoop. 
you don't have mods for a game that is like almost a year old, old so old that yeah, I but then that's where the mods I, I come in. Care. Like people that play the game, they yeah. finish the game and then they're like, the well, I can use the mod. Honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. if it weren't for this, I would have forgot about Fallout Four. As well, see, you're you're not playing it, right? I mean, you I never would. It. That's the thing. Like you're not the you're not the target audience. Yeah, you're not going to play it. <laughs> And, and you're not so, the target so why audience do I care? either because you're on the PS. You're not on a PS4. I'm on a PC, and which and I've been able to mod since where forever. Like I mean, hell, I remember modding uh, Morrowind yeah. because I was like, "Fuck that! I want purple skirts but for see, my black guy, and not just pink and skirts." I, I guess it's it an important I, thing. And I guess it comes back to what we were saying um, earlier when I was saying you know, I'm playing a 15 year old game again. It's like I don't mind playing old games. I enjoy yeah. playing old games. Old Why games should I not play a game based on its age? And once, old which swings it back full Big circle number, to the baby. mod support, <laughs> which is that's the problem. They I are am literally... calling the police. <laughs> Adam yeah, I is know. A I heard it. I want to move on. <laughs> I wanna... I'm just ignoring it <laughs> and inching away slowly. Yeah. No, no, inching in slowly. I can no, see. I'm, I'm not his age. <laughs> I'm, not his, um, I'm not his target demographic. Uh, <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> like um, balls. Yeah. And this is the trouble with that the PS4 and Sony, by extension, are doing. They're cutting off the longevity of their console, which supposedly we're in the last generation of consoles now. So we have a problem here, guys. Yeah. What, what if? What if? Like, has Sony said they're not going to make any more consoles? What if they were to just release a new PlayStation? If because, well, they, what, the point I'm getting at is, uh, the, 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 the Xbox isn't going to be releasing any new generation yeah. console um they're doing the whole scorpio scorpio scorpion yeah, scorpio. scorpio scorpio that's so cool. which is such a big scorpio the, the, hang, they've got to use scorpio. hank scorpio to the thing is this is a project name as well this is not the original oh, yeah guys, this is gonna suck. It won't but be what i'm saying what i'm yeah. saying cool is project names like did you know that project reality which sounds cool that's the nintendo 64 project love, reality since yeah you were living in a new reality project revolution the 360 that's the wii Oh, really? I thought it was a 360. No, man. And I'm like, God damn it, Nintendo. You went and named it a fucking Wii. You went, had a name like Revolution, and that is cash. Well, yeah, printing well. angst money. Maybe yeah. it was too close to a 360. <laughs> well, that, that, that's like a... That's terrible. I saying love nothing as well. The, uh, like, YouTube recently just released uh, their... Community. Their community, which is their, their social media equivalent. Because oh, Google Plus totally worked. So they were like, fuck, like, we well, need... That's, that's YouTube. Some... So they released it for... To select um, about 20 or so different channels. And it was called YouTube Back Backstage. Which, which is sounds a much so fucking cool. better game. Like, it's YouTube name. community. Like, oh, see, YouTube Backstage, it sounds like a joke I could like... I can riff on that for like a solid three hours of innuendos. Hey, do you want to enter my backstage? Having said that, though, I feel like that's, so the thing is, like, I feel like that would start as a joke, but like it'd be like us. Like, we'd end a video and be like, "Hey guys, join us backstage." And to, you know, hey get guys, the engagement. enter our backstage where but you can send us gifs. Maybe they're trying to reappropriate the, the phrase YouTube community because the how people use the word YouTube community now is followed by the words "is cancer." <laughs> <laughs> Just like I. I read comments because I have nothing better to do with my life on the train ride home, and my god, they're hilarious. Um, so Shit. the point that I was gonna get at with regards to PlayStation, yes, you're saying I'm that saying the Xbox is the Xbox One will be the console <laughs> we'll have for the next five years. So is PlayStation gonna do the same? I am ninety percent sure they will because couldn't they simply release another console they and could. then build on that to the same sort of extent? But once again, but when you're um, Let's run this against you. If you can keep with the Xbox One ecosystem mm. and play all your games, compared to the Sony ecosystem... Oh, no, I'm not saying one's no, no, better than, no, than no, the I'm other just, or not. Yeah. I'm just using this as an example. Let's say that the Sony, two years from now, release a PlayStation 5 and it doesn't play PS4 games. There is a huge incentive not to buy PlayStation and 4. Everyone that goes, well, well fuck. Scorpio's out and Scorpio they've already well, announced that it'll play every Xbox One game from now until infinity because mm. they're not releasing anything else so from now on yeah, all yeah. Xbox One games from now till ever will be playable so we're looking so like why would I go and buy a PlayStation 5 at, I don't know absolutely the advent no, really. of meanwhile I'm just sitting over here like yeah I mean, these, these sound like really you know interesting problems that were solved maybe like 
10 20 years ago on when PC. they introduced the pc2 i know right yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> love you chris <laughs> <laughs> no but, but like again i i don't know what sony is thinking or why they're doing what it is that they're it's, doing but it's like they don't way, know their target audience there's ways around the things that they're doing like yeah. they could screw this up a little bit but then just go okay sorry we made a mistake let's Fix it a little bit. Oh, what? Oh. You, did you just say they could make like No Man's Sky? Because <laughs> oh. that's what I heard. Speaking of, apparently, um, the one of the executives um blame the guy, the developer, yeah, for its bombing. Threw, threw him under the bus. It was just yeah. like, whoop. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you just say one of the producers blamed the dev? He was just like, no, I, I'm I, just, I'm saying that Sony, who's been hyping the fuck out of this game for God knows how long. Presented at E3. Yeah, presented at E3. Main stage. Main stage, blah, 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 blah. It comes out. Everyone hates on them for not having all the functionality that they expect. And they're like, oh, uh, uh. It, it wasn't Sony, guys. It was the developers. I think the developer just, they, they said, and it was, and it was, it pissed me off a little bit because it, they had, it was really backhand. He's like, I'm really looking, for, the Sony like, I'm really looking forward to like the new updates that will come with this game because they said they're going to keep updating it. But yeah, I kind of agree with the criticism that um, that Hollow Games and Impa- um, and especially Sean Murray is getting because I think he oversold the game a little bit to people and people expected more than there was going to be. And I'm like, okay, you're the ones that he, were selling the game. He went on Jimmy Fallon, motherfuckers. I don't think somehow Sean Murray could get himself onto Jimmy Fallon. Mm. I think that's Sony doing that and uh. Sony's marketing. And I'm like, so how can you throw that? Like, yeah, sure, it did come out like pretty much overcooked and undercooked uh, under sorry it came out it, undercooked and oversold yeah it came out like an alpha oh well not even it was functional so it, a beta. it came out like ben <laughs> what you mean not at all it's still, <laughs> still deep it's within still... an iron cupboard <laughs> <laughs> i mean everyone suspects he's out yeah, they're still waiting to they see still what haven't sort of found it hey, yeah hey by the way are you an amateur drama student <laughs> 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 But, uh, <laughs> so, so for people that don't have context on that uh, joke I'm sorry, that was a great joke I had to go for it um, one of the Basically up- someone called him gay <laughs> <laughs> But they didn't just no, say Hey, you look like you're gay They said, hey, are you a drama a- a- Amateur drama enthusiast or something I would say And this is one of my bosses Like super high up in the company that owns my company and he's just like yeah dude you're like an amateur drama guy you and seem I'm- flamboyant as hell you say I'm <laughs> yeah. yes i mean call me he's like, my business card you look fabulous i, I will suck to get ahead <laughs> God, you know what I just realized? This is going on the internet, and I just said all that. <laughs> my career is ruined. God damn. That's all right. You have your YouTube career to fall back on. Oh, yeah. I mean. <laughs> so good. <laughs> ah, ah. Yeah, so uh, about those dank memes. What's next on the list? Oh, God. Like, I was, was going to say dank memes. Fucking our recent youtube video everyone loves our recent youtube video you should check so, it out so oh good. my god it's so good montage parody the game we oh make videos god. for you guys and put up so much effort into them i got two and they different get no types views of, two and different then we, types of cancer yeah two one for each eye <laughs> and then we make we youtube make shit fucking video <laughs> montage parody the game i mean i love you guys for watching every video we make ever but Come on. Come yeah. on. God damn. Some taste, please. <laughs> it's so bad. It's, it's YouTube so... in 2016, mate. You gotta be cancer or you don't We like, need you don't those go at all. dank memes, man. The freshest of dank memes. Still. God. So uh, while he's looking at his phone, hey, Bin. Yeah. Did you know you can order a pizza with just your voice? How? Okay, How? Google. So there is an app on your phone yeah, Google. that if you leave it open for 10 seconds, it will order your favorite pizza and get it delivered to you. Without doing anything. Without you what doing... happens if you butt dial it? You just get fucking you just, pizzas. <laughs> pizzas flowing you into can, your... <laughs> you can set up the app constant. so if you have a fingerprint scanner on your phone, it's touch locked. Yeah. So people can't just like spontaneously order pizzas for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, That's uh, not a bad problem to have. <laughs> Spontaneous pizza. <laughs> well, like... And so you just, you one time set up your Domino's account, I think it's Domino's, and um, put your favorite pizza in, put your credit card details, set up your address. 
Is, is it Domino's that you can send the pizza emoji to as an SMS and they just send you pizza? Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, would you, like, That's pretty fucking cool. Yeah. <laughs> I like yeah. that this, they're doing You're that just shit. Like, Welcome like, to the future, they're guys. They're just doing random <laughs> things. Because, like, no... I, who else has done that? Pizza Hut doesn't do that. Like, Freaking Crust doesn't do that. We're getting so like, close. They're doing random shit. They have, like, a pizza delivery bot. Yeah. yeah. So cool. <laughs> we're we're so, so cool. close to ordering pizza with our mind. <laughs> Tele- <laughs> telepathically you, ordering pizza. This is the kind of world I live for. <laughs> All we need so what what's driving um innovation in twenty sixteen is the porn industry. Is porn and, and pizza. pizza <laughs> delivery <laughs> companies. Porn and pizza. <laughs> the point is to get it's like s- if you can make porn use renewable energy in some way, the renewable All energy right. industry. So thrusting <laughs> thrusting of the people powers back. <laughs> Like, oh my God. Forget f- uh, fossil fuels and oil. Renewable oh. energy is is the thing now porn because porn is the uses future it. <laughs> of renewable energy. I think that's a good episode title. Yeah. <laughs> porn, I would say the future of renewable energy. Been for president for bringing about this glorious porn <laughs> utopia. Every thrust counts. No. <laughs> that's the slogan right there. If I've ever Just heard one. Bam. Thrust for Benjamin is a thrust for humanity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure doing my part. <laughs> Go balls deep for the environment. <laughs> oh, it's great. Oh, it's funny because I was talking to Fion about like things with regards to about thrusting. About, about thrusting. <laughs> Uh, about, all the environment like you about have renew- renewable renewable energy like self-driven cars how <laughs> tesla <laughs> how tesla want to use electric cars and things like that and we're like and we're like it's oh she, she's like it's not gonna happen in our lifetime i'm like oh it'll happen in 20 30 years whatever the case is but it, it's kind it's we're making a joke about it but there's definitely drivers that would make it happen so much faster than just the need for renewable energy mm. it's just like if a major industry needs it it will happen yeah it happens yeah well, but the whole world needs it but it's just there's all these legislations and shit in the way because just like oh because but it's effort though it's effort we have to pour all this money into it and <laughs> oh but you know if private industry wants it well it's like well then okay hey, <laughs> <but I> just, <laughs> No, but the thing, the, is, thing it, the thing is, it's the private industry that will pour the money into it because they will make money because out of it. Because they make profit off it. But when it's just for humanity, it's just the well, sake just of Just for the benefit living. of society, yeah. Of it's not the like, human eh, race going when extinct Tesla, eh. next 80 years. I think it was Tesla. When Tesla. I think it was Tesla when they started selling electric cars. Cheaper electric cars, yeah. Um, they were selling it direct from the manufacturer, right? So you'd basically go online, order yeah. a car. Yeah, and, no. And, it, instead and of going up. through dealerships, you just go to exactly. Tesla and they sell but you the car. the dealerships didn't like that because they were basically... You were cutting out the middleman, yeah. And so they tried. They they petitioned all the states in America, or well, you know where they were, you know, uh, able to, mm. to enact laws saying you, so had you to have go to go through, through the manufacturer. Yeah, and that's that's, uh, that's dumb. That's, mm. that's the case. Why would you go through no, a that's dealer? The case with all cars, that's like exactly why there's a you, law in place. Have you ever why watched, would you unless you had to? Yeah. Have you ever watched the um, Adam ruins everything on crack? I actually, I'm sorry. Oh uh, yeah. You just said the yes. title, and I'm like. Whoa, I've never heard a better slogan for Adam's life. <laughs> yeah. God um, what, what, what's the guy's name? Adam. I can't remember uh, his last name, but he basically just he's, he's goes really over top. It's really cool because he goes over topics of uh, diamonds being overly expensive because there's their bullshit prices. Yeah. Um, glasses being ex- ridiculously expensive because there's um, weddings being stupid because that's weddings not- are dumb. Look, no, exactly. Guys, so he's bringing up all side tangent points. for one of my businesses. If you want a cheap wedding, I can make that happen. Call me on 555-55555. I think our record cheapest so far has been about $400. What? Yeah. Is that why you just go to a a, random park? A $400 wedding. Cool. I'm pretty sure that was Ruth's. Were you around for that? No, well, I didn't. I didn't go to Ruth's wedding. Oh man, was that was that just rock up to a park with a bunch of chairs, sit down? Uh, we held it at a lookout, and then we sit, called our favorite cafe, and be like, "Go, we're having fifty do, people come do, over. Do, can we? We had it like, I sort think thirty like odd, intimate sort of thing, and be like, "Can we just book out and get you guys here for a night?" And they're like, "The reception sure. was like a year later. They yeah. actually had a big party. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. later on down the track, you they did, did a full fledged yeah. one, but there was a reception immediately afterwards yeah. as well." Um, yeah, photographer is a friend who gave them a little bit of a deal, not much enough so they can still make money. Mm. Yeah, it was, like, it was just nice and cheap, nice and easy. It was like bam, bam, bam. Yeah, 
Like, I mean, I have no doubt by the time we get out, we actually get video working, we'll end up having to do photography for things. Be like, by the way, you guys have fancy equipment, don't you? <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> shit. We're, anyway, I actually can't remember what I was getting, the point I was uh, getting environment to. Environment and when private industry actually needs something, it'll show up. That. I think we're... I, yeah, sure. sure, 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 sure. Whatever. We, we, <laughs> we went on a tangent loop of my small business, <laughs> wedding, just... scope creep. I mean, what haven't we touched on? I have no What's idea what we're talking about anymore. What's your stance on abortion? Oh, God, jeez. <laughs> Oh man! We'll, we'll leave it for a Ben and Ben <laughs> gameplay. <laughs> That's the sort of stuff we discuss. Don't worry. Is there a god, Ben? <laughs> or is this one cosmic coincidence? Oh, no, god, seriously, yeah. Adam. You're meant to be like flooring this. You're and supposed I'm just, to be like controlling us. No, no. Could, you, no I'm, let, just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just letting the natural flow of conversation. I'm enjoying you, this. It, it gets have, to the point where we're just like we have tangent, tangent you, so dude. much and just gone from one thing to another where we literally have no idea what we were saying in the first place you just point okay you basically put me in front of a mic and then go. you let my head run loose go. and you're go just for like it. you're just like whoosh <laughs> welcome to my mind 75 people haven't disagreed with that. <laughs> But now, now that we've brought up some like you know hot topics i'm sure more people will disagree uh, we'll get more <laughs> traction because like we love the drama don't we don't we right we're, we all, love we're, we're, we're all we're about that kill, drama killer keemstar over here uh, ben, oh. drama alert nation drama whoop, whoop. that's right. the sound of the police so uh, if we're Sorry. gonna if we're gonna dip into more drama so how's everyone feel about the new change that apple has any answer like anyone the feeling jack uh, like everything that they've announced in the last, I don't like, know, week and a half. Everything Hashtag is, courage. It's just like, no, it's everything that they stand for. <laughs> Who <laughs> has an opinion on <laughs> what Apple stands uh, so for? So the, um, the, in, in specifically the new, the, the headphone jack is one. The, de the design of the iPhone 7. The fucking, it's such a trash tier design. They're man. talking about getting rid of the fucking home button for the iPhone 8. <laughs> like, they're talking about taking off the headphone jack on the MacBook as well. I used to like the MacBook hardware because... It it's, basically it's good. it was tuned to work with it. And That's then they, the only and then they didn't update it for five years. And then I'm like, and entrance is waned and gone. Mm. Oh look, what's this? This is any other device on the market. The, the thing with the jack for me though is I don't care. You don't care? I don't care so much in I okay, let, let me try to rephrase that. I do care because of the way that Apple is implementing it specifically, in the sense that they have that one port to do everything. Whereas they're, what they've explained is to say that the headphone jack is old and an obsolete technology and they should get rid of it and replace it with something better. Which is absolutely true. Which the is cool. It's been around since the 70s. And it's I'm, I'm down with damage, that. Damage, like physical damage, dust. Whatever. Like some and, sort and of so seal. So it have cool. combustion engines. It is cool. It's fine. <laughs> and I have no problem with Yeah, and that's why we're idea. replacing them with the Teslas. Yeah. Courage. Courage. <laughs> Hashtag but, Tesla. And cheap weddings. Call us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the problem, though, with the jack is to say, okay, here's this one jack that does everything, but you only have that one port. Yeah. And that's literally my only problem. If they were like, here's the iPhone 7, it, we've gotten rid of the um, headphone lightning jack, ports. but there's two or potentially three uh, lightning bolt ports because they are small ports. They're very small. You can and then, fit a few of them. Then you can and it's like, here you go. It's just like, sweet. Can you imagine that? I'm done yeah. with that. Look, I can sell that for you instantly. By the way, Use our special dock, charge your battery three times as fast. Bam! Money maker. Don't know if, don't know if batteries work. <laughs> no, well, have you heard of, uh, of this little thing called explosions? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that raises another very. Note seven. Note seven. <laughs> Note seven's like taking notes down and being like, oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Explosions. explosions. Next yes, idea. That's we need to have they exploding <laughs> phones. 16, 16 megapixel camera and explosions. Those are our two selling. I think the Michael Bayism of phones. I, I love I, that. I, I am. Oh, sorry. sorry. I thought someone came in for a meeting and watched too much. Like, uh, it was a get smart when they just like <laughs> this, point, this will destroy. Self destruct in, in ten, ten seconds. seconds. Just like, man, we fucking we need that. that. We need that shit for I the love spies. It. I am love going it. to be honest with you though. If they had a phone that specifically blew up. I would dead set by. <laughs> I'm not even if kidding. I would be like, they explode. Bin, bin. <laughs> they did. They it's do. Called. <laughs> it's called the Note Seven. <laughs> uh, look, if my like, favorite thing press about this button that is, and it will blow up. I'm sold. <laughs> favorite thing about the Note Seven debacle. 
they've released an update for the Note 7. So it only uses 66% of its battery. So that it doesn't So it doesn't explode anymore for the people who don't want to return it. Wow. What? That is not a measure of crowd control. <laughs> Guess what? Your phone's even worse. Like, no, like, we're, we're not going to recall all these exploding phones that will probably hurt you and your family. They we'll could burn your house you, down. We'll they could make kill it... your dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. It's funny, though, because my brother got a new phone. Was it a Note 7? And he ended up getting a Note 7, but he had to oh, Jesus. send it back. But the thing is, he got a different phone prior to that. He bought it online and Did then the screen explode? cracked oh. no no the screen cracked and or like the screen cut started peeling off somehow and so he had to return it got a new phone mm, and me. then the battery stopped working on that second one for whatever reason and i don't know which types of phones these were so he had to return that and get a new one and then he got the net seven and it's just like yeah we need to recall these because it will probably blow up in your face <laughs> so he had to return <laughs> that like, and he's God got a new one it's just like in a month i have had four different phones what so, the hell so what you're telling me is i need to hire your brother for qa testing <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he just picks it up nope <laughs> picks up nope nope this batch <sighs> is faulty nope <laughs> why is this batch faulty uh natural static charge and i've just eaten impede the entire city i'm so sorry <laughs> oh, oh god damn maybe his like super secret mutant power that'd be sweet is ruining everything for everyone just all every every device every just device breaks just bam done that is would you be down with that kind of a power that would make your life hell uh if, unless you can turn it on and off if you can turn it on and off i'm in but if it's like a harry dresden situation uh he's a there's a series of books and he's a magician because he's a magician, technology doesn't work for him. So he effectively, like, gets home, lights the candles. Yeah. Like, needs to have a bath. So, like, puts... Has to boil, boil water on, boil a, on a flame. <laughs> and if I had to live like... Oh, wait. No, I have lived like that. And let me tell you, it's goddamn hell. <laughs> I miss the internet. Like, yeah. I haven't been on the internet for, like, all of half an hour. And I miss it's it. like, it hurts. Try doing that for seven for years. No, but the thing is, you'd get used to that shit. No, you don't. You would. It's scarring. If you've had something and it gets taken off you, it it's hurts hard. more. No, it is definitely hard. If it was like that but your whole life. The thing life? with humanity is people adjust. You have no idea how adaptable people can be to just the most ridiculous shit. And yet like, I can't even get you guys to go on a fucking weekend camp. Because fuck because camping. Why would I we just do it intentionally? I did that for seven why would we years? do it to ourselves? Jesus Christ, he, Ryan. He's been carrying for seven years. I mean, he's done with camping forever. <laughs> <Taylor. laughs> like, why would we do it to ourselves intentionally? We're saying if we were forced into that situation, we, was, we would adapt we could do it. because we have we to. We can do it. I am not like, doing it intentionally. <laughs> like, we don't need this shit in our life, man. <laughs> I just need Screw a, you, Ryan. <laughs> I just need optical internet. Is that too much to ask for? You can't be deep track. Oh god damn. Uh <laughs> how much time do we have? We need to wrap up. Yeah, yeah. We need to wrap up. So All right, are we done here? I think we covered one topic <laughs> of what we no, wanted no. to talk about. We covered PS4 we... and Apple. <laughs> Plenty. And this one touch great. pizza. We're good. We're great. We're this on point. Uh, <laughs> so, so just let's say for the next episode, I think Ben, you can go back to monitoring this. <laughs> Dumb question. Tweet at us. What is the worst superpower you can think of? What is the most? That is the worst superpower that you'd be willing to put up with. Oh man, like. Whew. Oh, there was <laughs> being regular human. Okay, so that's I've, not a I've, superpower. I've one last thing. One that's last being thing perfectly average. Up. So I was doing a quick, uh, like, would you rather yeah. with uh, with Leah last night, and we got to this one. So would you guys? I promised I would ask this on the podcast. Right? Okay, yeah. No, would this you is... guys rather? No, 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 no. Wait, wait. We need to make a special moment for this. Yes, guys. This is our first audience participation question. <laughs> absolutely. Like, yeah, absolutely. Got, this is, make her tweet it at us so it makes sense later. <laughs> okay. Bitch. So, God damn it, Leah. In, disappointed this in is, you. This is the question. So we were thinking of the worst possible things mm. to do a million dollars for. So to eat. So. Ah. Oh, okay. So, okay. So the one that I came up with. Come on. Bring them on. For a million dollars, would you eat a used Band-Aid? Or an unborn child. That you found at the bottom of a public swimming pool for a million dollars. Is there an or to this? this, this no, it's like a million dollars. We'll give you a million dollars if you eat it. That's yeah. not a would so you rather. That's just, no, no, no. Okay. That is part one. Okay. Part two is, or if you, if you said no to mm. question A, mm -hmm. would you swap that out for a table, like a teaspoon 
of human shit. Ooh. <laughs> See, I, like, I draw the line at fecal matter. I hate shit. <laughs> I, like, because I, I have yeah. a terrible thing of germs. And I straight up, and I, th- I hold myself to this, and Leah thought I was fucking crazy. Mm. I would rather eat a, ta- a teaspoon of human shit Over than a band aid that I found on the bottom of a public swing. Are we talking about our own shit or are we talking like, about other person's shit? What is the quality just of a, this shit? It, can you, it, can it, you it, just it, like, it's, it's, a healthy, it's a healthy bowel movement. It's, it's, not, a healthy it's, not, bowel diary, movement? it's not diary. It's describe nothing the consistency. It's not green. It's not, it's like. Is it from a vegetarian or is this person predominantly a meat eater? Have, have they, they had, had pineapple in the last uh, month? They, 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 they exclusively eat pineapple. <laughs> Only pineapple. I'm in. <laughs> um, do they enjoy oh. eggs, for example? Because if the sulfur content's too high, <laughs> you I gotta, swear to God, you gotta work with us here, Adam. Like, I mean, fill it through, or like, you do could, they, maybe, maybe give us an array of options. Like, <laughs> like do I get to choose what the type table, of poop I'm like, eating? This man ate nothing but bacon for the last week. This woman no, ate no, nothing that but that shit would be bad. <laughs> no, but that is this, my. This guy, that is his point. That is my point. This you guy have has the nothing but bread and water. That stuff is That's like just, super firm. It's like just, it's like trying to eat a rock. Starchy. It's just hell of starchy. <laughs> straight down the hatch. Ooh. Um, I would rather oh. the bandaid. The band. You eat the bandaid. I have faith in chlorine. Yeah, I have faith in chlorine. The bandaid. That's what Lee said, and I was like, I don't trust chlorine. I at don't all. trust public pools at yeah, all. Yeah. Like zero. Like, there's probably as much fecal matter in public pools. Well, as there is. Say, <laughs> the <laughs> amount of time. <laughs> the, <laughs> The amount of times that I <laughs> hopped into a pool because I used to do like swimming and shit. Um, and, like, and there was no, a no, shit. You literally shit. did it's do swimming, swimming and in shit. shit. No, no, but that's the thing. The amount of times that there was like a shit at the bottom of a pool is just unbelievable. Beautiful. Absolutely the worst. Um, <laughs> Absolutely barbaric. Barbaric. <laughs> Absolutely haram. The corner, of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, my answer? Probably the, the band aid. The Band-Aid. The Band-Aid. I'm, yeah. See, I'm guys, all alone. If, <laughs> guys, I am surprised. Up, like, eat you. Dog, dog. <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously, those were the worst two things you could come up with. Like, For equivalent of a million dollars. Like, million where was dollars. the aborted fetus? <laughs> Would you eat an aborted fetus for money? Can I cook it? No. <laughs> mm. <laughs> See, oh, would you rather that or shit or a Band-Aid? Oh. Oh, riddle me that. <laughs> Riddle me that, Batman. <laughs> a million dollars or an aborted fetus. <laughs> <laughs> My diabolical plan is coming to fruition. <laughs> All these years, this is what it has come to. This, this is, is what, what I what wanted. Building up this on. is what it has all been about. I hope you're proud of me, Mom. <laughs> Genius. Anyway, I think we're at a good point where we can wrap oh, up. Let's <laughs> end the podcast <laughs> on poop. Wonderful. Um, wonderful. <laughs> See you next time for more, for more poop, poop. answers. <laughs> and tweet your questions to hashtag Cards of Salt. Oh, shit. God damn it. Thanks oh, a lot, guys. Shit. Where did we go? I don't How know. How did we get this far? I don't know. Have fun, guys. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs>